scarf. Okay. We are going to be doing some in office whitening on Haley. So I've just taken a little two by two and I'm gonna stick it down here in the vestibule area, just like that. And we're utilizing the umbrella retractor from Ultra Dent. Okay. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put one in the top as well. Same thing. What this does is it allows us to make sure that we uh, help control some of the saliva flow. And um, I actually like the fact that I know that it's kind of pushing the uh, retractor away from the tissue as well. So you can see here, I'm just gonna kind of put it right up underneath. I'm doing it really because I wanna make sure that as the patient should talk, which sometimes they do, I wanna make sure that Again, that the barrier stays placed and that we don't have any issues. Now, I'm going to be placing the gingival barrier, and I'll show you here in just a minute exactly how we're going to make sure that that is, uh, is basically isolated and attached to the 2x2. Two two. Okay, so let's move forward with that. So what I'm going to do first is I'm usually going to just kind of take three teeth, at a time as I'm placing the gingival barrier. Okay, so I'm going to just kind of go three teeth at a time. So Haley, open for me just a little bit. And I'm gonna start back here. And I usually try to go second premolar And notice what I'm going to be doing here is I'm going to be attaching it to the two by two. And I'm only going to do just a little bit at a time because I like to do about three teeth at a time and then cure it. And I'm going to keep going here. And notice I'm just attaching the barrier. Again, taking my time. This is where you really cannot cut corners. Because even if Haley gets a great result, which we know she will, she won't like me very much if we burn her. I always tell patients that this is what's going to take the longest. Once we get everything on, we're, we're, we're smooth sailing. But right here, this is where we see a lot of team members don't take their time and making sure that there's no tissue showing through that barrier. Notice too that I have a different tip on. I'm using actually a larger tip so I can extrude out more material. Some practices will try to use one syringe for top and bottom. Um, I buy this in bulk because I do not want to do that. You'll see here in a minute that I'm, I'm basically going to be um, using one syringe for the lower and one syringe for the top. And I'm, again, only doing two or three teeth at a time because it's spongy. You see how it wants to move? I'm going to cure that. But see how we're connecting it? I cannot take the credit. I wish this was my idea. But actually, this came from Bill Dorfman many, many years ago, the discus, when it was discus. So thank you, Dr. Dorfman. And remind yourself that, you know, a lot of times I see assistants trying to really minimize where the um, gingival barrier is at the gum. And I will say that anywhere that the bleach is going to touch the teeth, it's going to go in it. So you don't really have to worry about, um, you know, you don't have to worry about if you've got a little bit of that barrier, um, again, close to the gum line. She's got a lot of teeth here for me to be able to bleach. So I am not worried. What I was worried is the fact that that, um, you know, that bleach is going to seep through. Now, let's talk for just a minute about Haley's diastema. You see this little area here, got a little space. I would be very concerned here that that, um, that, that bleach would actually come through here and possibly burn her tissue. So I'm going to push this back up just a little bit. Okay. 
and I'm going to go ahead and utilize my gingival barrier. And I'm, I like to start right here first. So I'm just going to kind of add a little bit of material. Got it? Are you, are you recording? Mm -hmm. Okay. So I'm going to start right here. Add just a little bit of material right here. Not like that. Be still. This is just some gingival barrier. It's kind of a green liquid. And you see right here, I'll talk over it. So if you, let's be real still for me. Because you have a little space, I want to make sure that, that bleach doesn't go through this little area right here. So look what I'm going to do. I'm going to take this. See that? Uh -huh. Same here. Just so you know if you ever do bleaching on somebody. Since you've got these little spaces, I don't want to burn you. Doing okay? Mm -hmm. All right, they're hurting? Huh? Hmm? Is it hurting you? Mm -mm. Okay, almost done. My uh -huh. hand. Your hand's hurting? Mm -hmm. Okay, almost done. Oh, it's hurting right here. Huh? It's hurting right here. What is? Just this? Mm hmm. Okay, the light. Yeah, light. Light. Mm -hmm. Okay, almost done. Do the wave. Place, place, and we're done. Okay. Mm hmm. And don't worry, I'll edit it, so. Thank you, Haley. Mm -hmm. You okay? He's a little too much on that one. That's okay though. I think we're good. Mm -hmm. How's it look? You mm -hmm. see any tissue anywhere? Mm -mm. Okay. Okay. Good job. You got 